And so right out of that burst of energy, here comes Peyton Hall, team leader with 19 wins for West Virginia out of Chester, West Virginia, against Seamus Casey from Gillette, Wyoming, the freshman. And a tall order for Casey at 165. The usual wrestler at 165 for Air Force is the 31 Gianno Petricelli, 18 and eight this season. 32 wins in his career, seven major decisions. Against one of the best in the country in Peyton Hall. There's a two point takedown early in this first period. Well, well he almost had, he almost, Casey almost snuck one on Peyton Hall. Peyton was able to, though, step out of it and then reshot right away. Did a nice job of getting the takedown. Active weekend for Hall. Lost to David Carr last Friday, one of the best in the country. Rallied to win against Northern Iowa's Austin Yant on Sunday. Goes to 4 0 all time against Austin Yant. That was a good match. I mean, that was, that was a very competitive match. Well, we were interested too in how would Hall respond after wrestling David Carr, one of the best in the country. But well, I think he was a little disappointed in his in his performance against David Carr, not necessarily win-loss part of it, but uh, the, the the tactics and strategies, like doing things, like executing some stuff. Now, Well, that's what Tim that's, Flynn said. He said Hall went in and watched film on Monday and said, Coach, I didn't do anything. You know, now, part of, part of that is David Carr, okay? So you can make it look like you're not doing anything because he's keeping you off balance. And, and Peyton Hall had a tough time kind of finding him in this match. So he is not having that dis issue in this match. You know, he does Hall such a good job. quickly to his offense, another takedown for Peyton Hall. He does such a good job of going side to side. And, and we talk about this all the time. If, you, if you're going to get a score in this, at this level, you have to have things that go to both sides. You have to be able to change sides and, and do some things a little bit differently. So he likes to do that, that, that head shrug and, and spin to the one side. And then he, he does the exact opposite thing with a little bit of a drag that he gets on the other side. So he does a, a, a nice job of going corner to corner, side to side, which keeps people off balance. Hall is 10 and two in duels this year. It's two losses though. We mentioned Carr on Friday, Keegan O'Toole of Missouri, the other. Yeah, that's, that's uh, those are the one and two guys in the country, yeah. Right. <laughs> both both had that, that one national championships. So no slouches, but then again, no. Hall wants to be in the discussion with those two. Right. Not just in the conference, but in the country. Sweeps the leg and a big takedown for Peyton Hall. That was a, you had the leg up way high in the air. Nice trip. And uh, Casey, Casey met the mat relatively quickly there. Dominant first period for Peyton Hall. Watch him pop this single leg up in the air and then he's gonna get this good trip and just like the way you draw it up. That must have been a long half second for Casey between being on one leg and crushed into the mat. There's, yeah, like they say, the falling's not the problem. It's the hard stop at the bottom when you hit the ground, you know? That landing. Yeah. If you're West Virginia, if you're Peyton Hall, you really got to be thinking major decision here. Well, I, th I you know, that's the win the match, right? Score points, win the match, and then as you're scoring points, win the match, hopefully you're splitting the score a little bit. And in that process, then you start looking at major decisions and things along those lines. Hall with three of those this season. He does have the riding time point. Well, see, what's happening though is Casey's trying to stay away from him. He keeps backing away and Hall's got to get a, bit, a little better at that at stalking. Well, there's, because when he gets in and he gets close, he's going to take him down. Tried for the double there, but bailed out of it and was content to take the single. That's a pretty good close-up right there. 
sometimes it looks like nobody's doing anything, but you, the energy you're expending to just. <laughs> I think I, I think Seamus Casey would beg to differ. <laughs> he would too. That's one of those record scratch stops. So how did I get in this position? So there's Got another warning on Casey. And that's going to be a point for Hall. Put the score to 10 to 2. Hall's got over two minutes of riding time. We got 23 seconds left in the second period. Air Force with wins at 125 and 133. Tucker Owens and Co Cody Fippen. And remember, West Virginia didn't have Killian Cardinal. It was Colton Drusius at 125. Ryan Eriart stubbed at 133. But since then, West Virginia's got wins out of Jordan Titus, Sam Hillegas, Caleb Dowling, and now Peyton Hall a period away from a, a major decision at this at this rate. So all of those matches have been incredibly close, right? And the reality is uh, West Virginia could have lost all of them. They could have lost all three of them. And this the team score would be split like crazy, but it's been a, a very competitive match with the exception of the of the ones on the front on the front end. And again we talked about that already. West Virginia's wrestlers Really tough spot. You know, there's not the usual guys in the lineup for one. And we have to think that Drusius may have gone into a slot without a lot of notice. Yeah, I know, but that's that's just the way it goes, you know sure. what I mean? And that's that and that's something that happens with every team and every one. Every sport, there's yeah. always the next man up. Hall going quickly to offense again. Another takedown for Peyton Hall. So we got 12-3, we're gonna call it 13-3 with three minutes and nine seconds of riding time with only a minute 14 left. Three hours of riding time. Oceans. Yes. You can tell Peyton Hall watched the film from last weekend and was concerned about how active he was because he is doing a lot in this match. Uh, most definitely, and I think, again, he, he wants to be an All-American again and would like to move further up that podium. And ideally, I'd get him to be a national champ would be great too. And to do that, you have to have energy and pace uh, for seven minutes. And even when you're wrestling somebody who's not the same caliber as some of the other guys you wrestled just a, a week ago, you still have to wrestle with that intensity. Another takedown and he wants even more. He's got time for it too. He's got all kinds of time for it. He's gonna get this one. There's another two for Peyton Hall. The fans love it. They'll give up escape points all day long. Oh, that's two. Another takedown for Peyton Hall. 14 seconds left. The question is, warning. does he have time for another one? I don't know, but he's, he's going to try. Up at all. He wants it. Peyton Hall staying and hungry it. and humble and staying a winner at 165. Win number 20 this year as he scores a dominant 20 to 7 victory over Seamus Casey. And West Virginia, for the first time in this duel, takes the lead with a win from Peyton Hall. More to come from the Coliseum after this. You're watching Big 12 now on ESPN Plus.